Hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Ash. Happy Wednesday. Today we are on look number three with the Pat McGrath Mothership 10 Moonlit Seduction Palette. And today I am starting off with Extreme Nocturne, which is a dark, very cool toned brown. And I am using a small but kind of fluffy angled brush to make a smoky wing on my outer on the outer part of my eye. Um, I wanted a wing that was soft and kind of blended, but with some structure. Um, and I don't remember if I've used this brush like this before, um, but I really liked how it came out. I like how this brush um, did when I was using it for this kind of application, so that's good. Um, and after I laid down the initial color with that fluffier brush, I went in with an angled eyeliner brush and I just um, I just added a little bit more of that eyeshadow to the very, like, like the point of the wing, I guess, um, just to make it look a little bit more structured even. Um, and then I went back in with that smaller brush to continue softening it up and blending it slightly. I didn't want to like smoke it out too far. I wanted it to be like obviously a wing, but I did want it to be soft. And I didn't have any issues with Extreme Nocturne in this look. Um, in the first look I did, I had a little bit of patchiness with this brown, but I haven't experienced that in either um, yesterday's look or this look. Um, I didn't have any patchiness. It blended well. Um, I feel like, you know, the pigment was good. I really don't have any complaints about it in this look either, similar to yesterday. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is off camera, like in my own time, I'm going to try using Extreme Nocturne on the outer corner or the outer part of my eye like I did in the first look and just see if I get the same results I did in that particular look. Maybe it was a fluke. I don't know. I'm willing to give it a second chance. Um, but then after I laid down Extreme Nocturne, got it where I wanted, I took um, some of my NYX glitter glue to lay down uh astral lilac aura that's what it's called which is one of the special shades i was going to try to do this without laying down the glue but i realized that it was going to one give me a lot of fallout and two take a really long time to build up so i just went ahead and went in with the glue and then i took uh lilac aura on an angled eyeliner brush and i put that all over the top of the glue um i wanted to see I think I mentioned yesterday, I wanted to see if this, using this darker base color would bring out more of the purple in Lilac Aura. It's really a beautiful silvery white with lots of sparkle, lots of shine, um, and some subtle purple sparkle in it. So I wanted to see if using a darker base would really make that purple pop. And it did bring out more of the purple. I feel like, you know, after everything is said and done, the liner looks purplish but it's not super purple um which is kind of what i expected given how given how subtle um the purple is in astral lilac aura um, but it was still pretty it just made for a very subtle little hint of purple on the liner um but anyway after that i wasn't sure if, what else i wanted to do on the lid so i went in with the shade platinum dusk i think is what this is called i can't remember um but i took that on the tip of a smudge brush smudger brush and i ran that across my lower lash line and um and yeah i just smudged it out and then i took a clean still kind of smudgy brush and i just softened up the line i didn't want it to be too harsh down there um and this is a really nice kind of grungy gunmetal shade um it's like a brown undertoned gunmetal i feel like most you know gunmetal shades are um pretty blue toned uh or they lean like very cool toned this one it's still cool toned. I mean, it's still a gray, but it's like, it's brownish. I don't know, but it's got nice shine, a little bit of sparkle. Um, I actually quite like the shade and I would love to see it like all over the lid or something eventually. But anyway, then I figure out what I wanted to do for the rest of my lid. And just to finish off that eyeliner, I went in with the shade Blitz Venus, which is a soft, very sparkly, 
kind of silvery rose. There's a little hint of gold or like yellow in the sparkle as well, but um, it's actually surprisingly cool toned. It's not like uh, one of the pink to gold duo chromes that we've seen a lot from Pat McGrath. So that was nice. Um, but I just took that on an angled eyeliner brush and ran that across um, my upper lid just to finish that liner. And then because my eyelids are pretty oily, I wanted to make sure that the sparkle would not transfer as much as possible. I wanted to really give this some lasting power. So I just took my hourglass ambient lighting powder in ethereal light and put on a generous layer of that across the blank space on my lid. And then for my inner corner, I went in with the shade Skin Tense Glow and I popped that on my inner corner with a small round brush. And I also took this on my finger um, under my brow. I originally tried to do that with the brush, but it was looking really subtle for some reason. Um, I don't know if I just didn't pick up enough, but I didn't have patience to figure it out. So I just went in with my finger and slapped that on. Um, and this is a really nice, like pearly champagne satin metallic, like all the skin show skin tense shades are, you know, they're all kind of pearly satiny metallics um, of varying shades of like champagne. And then for my waterline, I went in with my NYX Slide On Liner in Gunmetal. I just wanted something that would kind of match Platinum Dusk because um, I liked the look of the grays on the lower lash line. Um, and this one matched pretty well. Um, Gunmetal is a little bit cooler toned, a little more, or I guess more blue toned than Platinum Dusk, but it worked, it worked decently. So I was happy. And then for my cheeks, I'm using my Can Make Cream Cheek in see it's 16 terracotta almond or almond terracotta I can't remember off the top of my head but I'll have it in the description box for you um, I list everything that I'm showing you that I used in this video um, down below um, but yeah I just I really like this shade actually um, for fall and winter I think it's gonna be like one of my go-to uh, blushes for this time of year along with my Milani cream blush they're they're gonna be my my go-tos this season, I think. Um, and then for my highlighter, I'm using the AZTK Pearl Highlighter Duo in Gold Champagne, I think. I think it's like Golden Champagne or Gold Champagne, something like that. Again, it'll be listed down below. Um, and of course, just highlighting the high points of the face. And then I was really feeling a vampy purple lip with this eyeshadow. Um, I was just feeling very fall today. So that's what I wanted to go with. And this is the Kaleidos Lip Clay in the shade Queen of the Night. And I feel like I always have to mention this, but it is a uh, shade dupe for Urban Decay's Blackmail, which is a lipstick that I have loved for a really long time. But um, they discontinued it a while ago. And I emotionally cannot let go of that shade. So if you're like me and you loved Blackmail, but you haven't found a good dupe for it, this is a great dupe. And the formula is really great, actually better than the Urban Decay formula, in my opinion. Um, so would highly recommend if you want a shade dupe for Blackmail. But, um, but yeah, I just applied a couple layers of that and then used my finger to soften up the edges, as I typically do with these Kaleidos Lip Clays. But anyway, here is the finished look. I really like how this came out. It felt very soft, a little bit grungy, very fall. I quite like it. I really liked how this look came out, even though I don't love eyeliner looks on me. I feel like they're not the most flattering kinds of looks for me, but that's okay. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I will be back tomorrow for the fourth look using this palette, so I hope I will see you then. Bye!